Upgrading the operating system on your computer has always been one of those geeky tasks many people just don't bother with. Well, geeks like me are shouting about the latest and greatest updates, but most people are perfectly happy plodding along with whatever OS happened to be on the computer when they bought it. More often than not, that's perfectly fine. You don't miss what you don't have, right? Well, Apple disagrees. They've just released OS X Lion, the latest and greatest version of their operating system for Macs. It features over 250 improvements over the previous version, and it's been designed to make a computer as easy as possible for everyone. It's even stolen a load of features directly from the massively successful iPhone and iPad to make people used to those gadgets feel even more at home. So it's a no-brainer then, everyone's going to rush out and buy it, yeah? Apple isn't counting on it, so it's gone out of its way to make it easy. First off, there's the price, which Apple have dropped to a little over £20. You might even qualify for a free copy if you bought your Mac after the 5th of July. Secondly, Apple's completely removed the need to go out and buy install disks. You just download the update from their Mac App Store. So, let's walk through the install process and see how we get on. There are a few things you can do to make the process go really smoothly, so I'll talk about those as we go. Firstly, to upgrade, you need a reasonably new Mac. This one's about four years old and it's just powerful enough to run the new OS. Check out the Apple website for a full list of requirements. You also need to be running the latest updates of the previous operating system, Snow Leopard. I'd also recommend you get a good size external hard drive. Assuming you've got everything you need, you can just dive into the App Store and start downloading, but I'm the nervous type and I don't really want to think about the possibility of something going wrong and losing all my files on my computer. I'm going to back up my computer first. There's loads of good backup software online, and lots of it's free. My favourite is the stupidly named Super Duper from a company called Shirt Pocket. It can take a couple of hours to back up your machine, but once it's done, you have a perfect copy of all your software to keep in a safe place in case it all goes terribly wrong. So, a little hard drive like this, keep it out of the way. You don't have to do any of this. Apple have worked so hard so you don't need to. But, you know, don't come running to me if you don't do it and something goes wrong. Okay, we've backed up and you're ready to go. Click on the Apple menu in the top left of your screen and select App Store from the menu. If you don't already have an Apple account, you'll need to get one before you can download Lion. I've already got an account, so I'm just going to find Mac OS X Lion in the store. It's pretty hard to miss at the moment. Click the price and then click Buy App to start the download. It's a big file, so it'll take a few hours on a normal broadband internet connection. Go off and do something else. If you want to keep an eye on how it's getting along, there'll be a progress bar in the purchased area of the App Store. When it's done, you have a new item in the dock called Install Mac OS X Lion. You can just click that and start the install, but here's a pro tip for you. If you go to the Applications folder on your Mac and find the file Install Mac OS X Lion, you can copy it to an external hard drive or a memory stick, and you can use it again. So I've just saved you three hours. Don't thank me. So when you're ready, just Find the Install Mac OS X Lion button, click on that. When it loads up, we've got the installer, just go through. Obviously, everybody reads the license agreement, so let's do that. And agree with it. And choose which hard drive you've got. Obviously, there's only one hard drive here, so I don't need to do anything. Hit Install, and that's when I put in my password. And there you go. It's um, Starting the install process, it says it will take about three minutes. Uh, let's come back in a couple of minutes and see how it's getting along. So there we go, all done. Um, took a little while to download the file, obviously. It took a while to do the backup, but the actual install time was pretty quick, about half an hour or so. Pretty good for a fairly old Mac. So now it's all up and running. What more can I say? Have fun.